le dos en train de chiller. Ouais, cool. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So I'm taking you guys on a stroll with me here in Quebec City. Uh, picking up where we left last time. Uh, it was back near uh, Saint-Roch for, uh, for those of you that are watchers uh, from Quebec City. Um, so yeah, it's late in the afternoon. The sun is gonna set soon. Uh, I'm gonna try to take some, some cool pictures. Uh, yeah, the weather is great. It feels good shooting. Uh, where it's not minus zero so yeah let's go almost died there so in one of my past vlogs i was underneath uh, these connectors all right, let's play it safe. Yeah, so let's head into the old city. I'm probably gonna do a video, a whole, a whole video over there, because there's so many things to photograph. So yeah, today's loadout is the X100V, right here. It's my camera of choice for street. Sometimes I use my X-T3 a bunch of you guys asked me if I had other cameras, other camera systems. So yeah, I used to shoot Canon cameras, but kind of got bored out of them. I, oh, that's nice, flares. So yeah, I kind of got bored of my Canon camera. I kind of, I used to shoot on a 6D and then I switched uh, to the RP when it came out. 
but I wasn't impressed with battery life. And yeah, it was such a poor experience. I would always run out of battery. Yeah, let's follow these guys. So yeah, lockdown kind of sucks. We were, we we're actually getting out of it uh, with the vaccine coming in. But yeah, they kind of decided to close everything for Easter. To kind of avoid more people getting COVID. Oh, that's cool. It's a nice shot. Oh, they're probably gonna cross. Yeah, and actually it's pretty dangerous. You can like fall down and it's like 10 meters. I'm gonna try and get some leading lines in here. There we go, that should do. So the X100V has pretty good um, dynamic range. So I usually expose for the highlights and hope for the best in post. I have no idea what this is, but it looks slanted and old and they're probably refurbishing. Is that the word? Uh, seems like everything's under construction. <laughs> So the X100V got a new update back a month ago, which is actually the ND. I'm not sure if the GoPro is going to pick it up, but yeah, here it is with the ND. So you can actually shoot pretty wide. Oh, that's cool. And still get good results. I think I'm gonna drag it out for a photo and put it back. Yeah, so when you don't have any subjects, you just make your own. Let's put it back. Oh, so these guys are doing the same thing that I did. <laughs> Getting copied is the, what's the word? It's like the ultimate compliment. So if you do something nice and people copy it. You know you're doing great street photography when you take pictures of hoops. Actually, the GoPro is, is way too wide angle to be kind of show the mountains in the back. So we're now on the edge of the, one of the edges of the uh, fortified city. And this is the harbor or the port. I don't know what's the difference. It was ice a couple of, a couple of days and weeks ago. So it's cool that everything's melting in. So these aren't actually real, or so I've been told. Oh, actually, you can see there's still ice. So all of this is water. And there's St. Lawrence River. Oh, that's a nice bike. See if I can do some close-ups. Oh, let's crank it up to F2.
so let's do some fishing while we're at it and leading lines always There's the party. I don't know if, if she meant to pass me the ball, but... Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for watching. If you made it this far, there's only a couple of minutes left. Uh, if you wish to hear me rambling about editing and also answer uh, some of you guys' question, uh, you can feel free to stick until the end. I also wanted to thank today's sponsor, which is no one other than myself. So if you guys enjoyed the content that I'm putting out, uh, please consider subscribing. And also, I'm going to leave all my social media links down below. Feel free to connect. And yeah, I'll see you guys next time. And until then, let me know what you thought about the video in the comments. And have a beautiful Easter weekend, everybody. Peace. So while we're walking back to the car, I want to answer some questions. And yeah, one of the most requested, well, first of all, how I get the look on my pictures. And this is kind of hard to say because there's, there's some editing involved, but not, not as much as, you, as most of you guys might think. Um, and yeah, this is a common topic, but the answer is, if you want to get a consistent look, and I'm not a pro by any means, so take what I'm saying with a grain of salt, but if you want to get a consistent look, the best way to do it is to stick to a type of subjects. For example, if you do street outdoors, you want to stick to outdoor pictures. You want to include in your composition the same kind of palette of colors. And the easiest way to do that is to stick to a certain time of the day or weather so in my case i really enjoy shooting in late afternoon just before sunset really so what i usually do is grab my my things grab grab my x100v or my film camera and go out for for an hour or two in the city or anywhere really and kind of stick to the same time of the day each time i go out and take some pictures and that's how I get similar looking colors because I mean a blue sky is gonna look the same every single time and that's how you get a consistent look so when you're a beginner in, in photography in general you kind of you think that presets are what defines a picture but it really isn't and that's why I'm kind of when somebody asks if I have like presets available or 
if I can do a tutorial or I mean I could do a tutorial and tell you guys like how far I push the slider for a particular photo but if you copy and edit it's not gonna look the same like there's no way so one edit one picture you cannot use the same I mean you can use presets as a starting point but yeah you really need to to know in what in which conditions the preset was built on was it late was it late in the day or early in the day was it sunny was it was it cloudy um, what's the color balance is it in the winter and it's cooler or is it in the summer and it's warmer that's why i think choosing your choosing similar compositions is gonna is gonna make your your photos look more consistent